I'm Lars Jansen, I'm the head of the Laboratory for Epigenetic Mechanisms at the Institute of Bank in Ciencia in Portugal. My lab is called the Laboratory for Epigenetic Mechanisms. We're trying to understand the mechanisms of epigenetics. And it's a, it seems to be a complicated term, but basically what it means is that there are things that are inherited that are not simply genes, like the double helix that we all know, and we know how it's being copied from one cell to the next, but there's this whole realm of other things. And so if you think about proteins, they're complicated molecules, and it's not obvious how they can make copies of themselves and be passed on from one generation to another. And this is fundamentally what we're trying to understand. The grant that was funded by ERC asked basically three questions. If you have a protein, or any other molecule for that matter, um, that is passed on, how can it be stably inherited? The second question is, how do you make a copy of that? If you have a protein, eventually you make new cells, so you have to also copy things. Like you have to copy DNA, you have to also copy proteins, if they are to carry some information. And then third, that's the third part, how do you make the right amount of copies? So if you have, let's say, a, a hundred copies in one cell, you duplicate one cell into two cells. You have to make exactly 100 new copies if you already have 100 before. How do you know, how does the cell, or how does the system know that? The ERC at this point is the first and foremost funding agency for basic science. So what it did to my lab is to professionalize the lab, to um, really bring the science to a different level, not just because of additional funding, but really because it allowed me to collaborate with some of the best people in the world. So the other thing is that because ERC has a record and a way of stimulating integrity um, and merit within the scientific community, that also reflects on the kind of people that we're training. The students, the postdocs, the, the co-workers that are, are all involved in these ERC-funded projects. So there are very indirect, um, let's say convoluted ways in which funding basic science and scientists and people in general about how to make progress on based on based on evidence, based on logical thinking um, is very important because we're not just funding science, we're, we're funding essentially a whole new generation of Europeans and in that sense the ERC is making a huge contribution to that in ways that they probably cannot even measure themselves.